Hey, this is Steve from Vertitron. This video I'm going to show you the Apello system. It's the very first iPhone app that's used to actually call an elevator. There's other apps out there that are elevator games, but this is the first one that's going to tie into an elevator system and allow an iPhone user to call an elevator from his iPhone so that the elevator is waiting for him when he comes into the building. So we're going to go over uh, the system real quick here. I'm going to show you how to download the app, which is free on the App Store. So I've got my iPhone here. This is good for the iPhone or the iPod Touch. Any place that you got Wi-Fi service, you're going to be able to call the elevator as long as there's a network set up that you can attach to. So here we go. I'm going to the App Store. I've already done a search for Apello. It says it's free. The app itself is free. What's not free is the device that ties into the elevator and then getting a username and a password there's a one-time charge that you're going to have for that. Here I need to enter in my Apple ID. Once you've got the app on your iPhone or your iPod Touch, you're going to simply click on it and it's going to ask you for a username and a password. I've put in demo for the username and demo for the password. You can do this on your iPhone or your iPod Touch and it will allow you to run our Vertitron external, which is external elevator, which is our test tower so you can get a feel for how it's going to work. I'm going to hit done. Right now what it's doing is it's actually downloading the authorized elevator list that are dedicated to that demo, demo username and demo, demo password. Okay, now let's put them on there. These are stored on the device so you don't have to go to the username and password over and over again. You don't have to keep entering it in. Those will always show up on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. For this demonstration, we're going to choose the Apello network, but first I need to get onto that network. So I'm going to go back on my iPhone and choose the Apello wireless network. That's an actual network we set up just for this demonstration. Now that I'm on the network, I can choose the Apello network, and there's the Apello elevator. For this demonstration, we've got an actual little demo unit set up. This is a little thing we built that has a wireless network router on it that we can just set up and attach to that router. Then it's got a PLC inside that actually is simulating all the elevator function. So we can simply place calls and watch like what an elevator position indicator would say and the hall call registration. Okay, now I'm going <coughs> to place the call for say the third floor. You can scroll up and down to choose the call. I hit the button, enter the down call. You'll see it lights up on the little simulator. This is all done with the wireless network. When the elevator arrives, that was actually the phone dinging. So it's alerting the Apello user that the elevator has arrived to the floor they wanted to go to. I'm going to crack this thing open and show you what's inside here. And this is kind of the part of the device that needs to be installed on the existing elevator. And it's set up to install on pretty much any elevator. There we go. I'll pop open the box. This part's doing the simulating. But what you're going to get for the Apello interface unit is the power supply, the device that puts all the signals of the elevator and all the status signals and sends the commands to our Apello interface board. So it's really a simple thing to install on almost any elevator. If you bought this system with the Vertitron control system, you're just going to eliminate this board here. And we're going to be talking directly to our controller. I would estimate the installation of this system on an existing elevator should take a uh, team maybe an hour and a half, two hours to install. Again, it's a pillow. It's, it's the elevator iPhone app that's for the Passenger, it's not a technician app for a technician who's trying to troubleshoot an elevator. I get a lot of questions saying, oh, that's great. Is it going to show the fault codes or what's it going to show me as a technician? It's not designed for that. It's designed for the user to be able to call an elevator before he walks up to the elevator as he's driving up to the building. The other thing we have the ability to do is to restrict floor access for users. We can say, hey, user A can go to all the floors. User B can only go to the first, second, and third floor. So it's kind of a slick way to set up security that if they have an iPhone, they have an account, they can actually call the elevator. 
with the iPhone, but they can only go to the floors that they've been given the rights to run to. If you've got a system you think that the Pella would be right for, give us a call. We'd love to put something together for you and come up with a good idea for you guys. Have a great day.